download Handbrake, install it, and launch it. Click on your DVD. If you see this, that means we're going to have to break the law. I'm going to take an educated guess and assume you're using Windows, in which case, close Handbrake, go to the libdvdcss dll github page, click releases, and grab the latest zip file. Right-click Handbrake, click open file location. If it brings you here, right click this again and then open file location again. Once you're here, open the zip file you just downloaded, navigate through it. If you want to show which one to pick, it's probably going to be 64 bit and then drag the DLL into Handbrake's folder. Now open Handbrake again and click on your DVD. Wait a few seconds for Handbrake to read the disc. Go up to title here and make sure you pick the episode or video you want to rip. There's a handy preview here if you're unsure. Most of the defaults are okay and it's totally fine to just click start encoding and be done with it, but there are a few things you might want to change. Switch to MKV. Unless you're absolutely sure you want to use MP4 for whatever reason, use MKV. It can contain more formats, it's newer, it's open source, it's royalty free, whatever. Go to the video tab and check out video encoder. By default, it's set to encode H.264 on your CPU. This is called X.264. It is really slow, but the quality is pretty good. If you want it to go faster at the loss of some quality, you can make your GPU do this instead. Click on the codec dropdown. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, choose H.264 NVIDIA NVENC. If you have an AMD card like me, choose H.264 AMD VCE. If you have an Intel GPU, choose Intel QSV, and if you have a Mac with an Apple Silicon chip, choose Video Toolbox. You can also use H.265 or AV1, which result in lower file sizes for the same or better quality, but only use these if your GPU supports them, or you're willing to wait forever for your CPU to take even longer to do it instead. Not all software supports these codecs yet because they're a bit newer, so do your own testing on your own equipment and software suite. Go to the audio tab. Audio is tiny. Most DVDs already come with compressed audio and usually it isn't worth compressing again. Unless you're absolutely sure you want to re-encode the audio, click on the codec dropdown and choose AC3 pass-through. Now you're pretty much done. Choose where you want the video file to go and click start encoding. You can also save the work you did as a preset for the future. Good luck.